Maker and look who's here from Honeydew Crafts. Yay. It is the fabulous Amanda. Mwah, how are you? Good, thank you. It's you. so nice to have you here. Uh, for people that don't know about Honeydew Crafts, just tell us in a nutshell about this fabulous company. So we have been going as Honeydew Crafts for 10 years this year. 10 years. 10 years. I know, I don't know where that time's gone. <sighs> Scary. The first time we were trying to come up with our first collection, we were scraping every penny together we could and I took them to a show and I sold out within the first half hour. We had 10 designs, 12 of each, and we sold out in the first half hour of the show, and I was like, oh my God, what How is joyous is that? I was gonna say, when you launched it, when did you launch here at Hobby Maker? March this year. Okay, now what happened in that first show? If I remember rightly, you had sellouts in that show Everything. as well, didn't you? <laughs> yes. Everything. This is the way we roll with Honeydew Crafts. So I'm <laughs> gonna say, do shop ahead on the website, have a look at everything. Everything is there, you can check it all out. There is a brand shop for Honeydew, but also I know there's a lot of items on this show. So do check everything, because Amanda always tends to sort of put the, the core essentials and tools and bits and pieces that you need, including brand new blending brushes, mm -hmm. um, on that website. So if you wanna check it all out, Becky on the camera, she's back with the lashes for this hour. What's the website address? All the W's, what? Hobbymaker.com. Hobbymaker.com, there you go. Now we've got brand new stencils, we've got brand new stamps for you as well, and we have got an exclusive bundle here at Hobbymaker that you will not even find on the Honeydew website, so thank you for that, which we are loving. Um, so let's talk, so we've got four sets of stamps and four, four stamps. fabulous stencils. Four stencils. Let's start with the stencils to begin with. These are big. They are. I like to go big. Uh, you do? What size are they? They're seven by sevens. But everything that we do works from, you'll see, we've got 5x5 five five cards up to an 8x8 eight eight card. You can make everything work. Just because it's a 7x7 seven seven stencil doesn't mean you have to use the whole thing. No. So you can just use parts of these, but they're so much fun. You don't and have they to are, the whole 7 inches if you don't No, you to. don't. No. Um, and, <laughs> and they're great because these are really good for background cards. Or if you're in a real rush, all you needed to do is stick a sentiment on that. I love this. I mean, this is the firework burst if you were going for this individually, because we do have individuals as well. Um, but I think this is like a sunburst. There's something quite ethereal about it, quite sort of superhero. Um, you can imagine this on canvases for shabby chic, home decor, mixed media, things like that. Um, it packs a punch. There's a real kind of like pow to it. There isn't is. There? And I think that would be like for, good for a Halloween invitation. Not Halloween. We were just talking Halloween, weren't we? We were talking Eve. Halloween because it's a this New week, Year's isn't it? It is. Yeah. A New Year's Eve invitation, or you could just stick a number 18 in the middle of that, yeah. and you've got a, a birthday card for a teenager, which are it, notoriously it, difficult. It's to kind do of for. like a fanfare for whatever you put with it, really. It is, definitely. I like that a lot. Uh, so that one there is your firework burst. Next up, my drag name, if ever I do drag again, Dotty Circle. I like this. <laughs> this is rather fabulous. <laughs> yeah, some, one of my customers said it was like confetti, which actually is quite like do that, you know isn't it? Reminds it? Me of, do you remember those pictures that you used to look at to see a number in oh, them? Oh, yeah. Yes. It does. Doesn't I don't know what they're called, but it or looks if there like is a number. In there accidentally, they could be, you never know. Look at that, <laughs> I love that. Everybody here that's ever done therapy is now going, oh, I'm back in the therapy room now. Uh, so there's your dotty circle. We've got that one for you. Next up, this is gorgeous, this flourish, this. I mean, you can see people reaching for this straight you away. You can, and you actually, you would have to do absolutely nothing else with that. Pop a sentiment on that and your card is done. So if you like a quick, simple card to do, perfect. Now, finally, in our stencils, the fourth of the 7x7s, seven sevens, uh, and I think we've saved the best to last. I mean, I love all of them, but this one I just think has a real wow factor to it. Uh, this is your leaves that we have for it you is. here. Now, this one's a delicate stencil to get that detail in it, so be aware of that when you get it. It's fabulous to use. I have had so much fun. And, in fact, this is actually... the. the our stencils arrived really late to us, so we haven't got any samples of them other than what you're going to see today, apart from this one card. And it was one I was going to do on the show, but because it takes a little bit longer to do, I didn't do it. But what I did with this one is I did the stencil first in black, in brown, then I moved it over very slightly and did the white on it, so it's got a little bit of a 3D finish. Ah, so it's almost got like, not a drop shadow, but you can like move it yeah. slightly, an echo if you like. Yeah. Um, I think that's lovely. I will say with these as well, I mean, all of these stencils, don't remember, I mean, so, don't remember, don't forget, sorry, uh, that don't remember, uh, the stencils are brilliant because not only can you use them as a stencil with your paste and things like that, but also if you want to put it through your embossing Bossing, fold, yeah. uh, your die cutting machines, yep. your embossing okay. machines. Make them into embossing folders. Exactly. You said that so much better than I could. <laughs> I just couldn't There's a few samples out. actually that have, that I think Hazel's done some that are exactly like that, that Ooh. top one, although it's not this, this one here. stencil. No. That little pink, the one you just... Oh, my apologies, that one there. Yeah, so oh. that was with the tartan ah. that's also available, you can see. So that's just a tartan stencil that's been run through as a 
exactly so it as shows said. you the quality of yeah. the honeydew stencils if you would like to go for that so you've got the four stencils but you've also got four stamp sets in here as well which is brilliant so let's have a look at the stamp sets that you are going to get with this collection as well and um, why did you decide to put everything together i just think it's nice to be able if you can push to it it's nice to be able to get everything together because you'll see it and you're like i want that one i want that and if you add it all together you've got a great saving on this one as well so you've got your single peony you've got mm -hmm. your vintage floral corner we will carry on going across you've also got in there as well the floral swag and then finally the fabulous flower um beautiful we've got people coming in we've not dropped the price yet we are going to be paying that lowest price in fact here we go let's get that price down 65.96 goes down to 59.99 that's good but come on let's have a little cheeky split pay shall we that's <laughs> better no percent interest and no charges for that uh, let's have a look uh, we have got uh, two interest free split pays for you 29.99 is your price on that one 29.99 today and then 29.99 in a month's time um complete angel policy yep so, so long as you've hand stamped like. it you can do whatever you like with them uh, all of that creativity, look what you could be making. I and mean, I love it, mix and match it with stencils either from this collection or ones that you already have. So simple, these designs, yet so effective. So easy. And the thing is, if you can't push to the whole bundle, but you only want one particular stamp, you've got the background done and mm. the focal point in there with one stamp. This, I love. A, I love that colour. That is mm -hmm. so underused, that colour. That's it gorgeous. But also, I love the fact this just, it, it just screams class, but that as a focal point on the card. I mean, I love the fact it's at the top. You've got a lot of sort of blank space. Yeah, I it, always say works. don't be scared of white space no. or grey space as yeah. it is in this account. One colour so. space. Definitely. Yeah. This is lovely as well. And that's the again. same set of stamps. Mm. Exactly the same. Also, I mean, I think you'd agree with these stamps and the stencils. They work for any occasion, whether it be um, a consolidatory. Is that a word? Consolidatory. Con Commiseratory, there you yes. go. Commiseratory <laughs> occasion, or whether it be a celebratory occasion. I think it's a mix the two words together, then, <laughs> didn't it? Uh, it will work for every occasion, which is brilliant. We are getting busier and busier on this one. Let's show you some more samples because they are absolutely delightful. This is the fabulous flower. It I is. think and that's this a, on its own. And that's a five by five card. So this is what I mean. You can use everything that Honeydew Cast brings you on any size card. And that's mixing and matching again? Yep, it is. And then you can see on this next one absolutely beautiful so that was a couple of collections the stencil that was on there was a couple of collections back so you, that's been on here the corner wave that's gorgeous as it's well. stunning isn't it really is and obviously we've done a bit of heat embossing there. Mm -hmm. lovely and then you can see it on this all these cards are really different we have a very small design team there's only five of us including me six if you add mum in there um and everybody does everything so differently they are just such a great team to work with um, this I, next one from Carol, can I say, I absolutely love this card. I think this is a real wow card. Beautiful, isn't it? How lovely is that? And, and yet, it's again, nice it's so and simple. springy and summery. And we actually did a similar technique to this on our Facebook Live the week before last. Um, so if anybody wants to see how that's done, you can pop back on. Where do we find you online? Um, we are on Honey Do Crafts on Instagram, X, Facebook and um, YouTube. And you do so lives we do on lives Facebook every and also on lives on YouTube and Facebook every other Thursday. So it will be two weeks. I think it's the fifth or the seventh of November. When we're next on. And that's all under Honeydew Crafts. All under Honeydew Crafts. Lovely stuff. Uh, let's show you some more samples. More of you coming through. Anne in Oxfordshire. Well done to you. We've got crafters everywhere coming through. This is lovely. Uh, and Anne in uh, Vanessa in Derbyshire as well coming through as well. Congratulations to you. Uh, let's show you some more samples and then we will do a little bit of a demo for you. I think this is stunning. There's something quite intergalactic it about is. this. Isn't and it, it looks like you could just pick that flower off yes and I just I could I can't ever achieve random looking like this but Karen's done a fabulous but this job. is the joy of uh, you know design team and people yep. sharing their love of craft because everybody, everybody brings different ideas to the different, table definitely that is just a riot of, it's of amazing beauty isn't color. it Karen can mask within an inch of its life uh, this is lovely as well. And then using one of those, I mean, that could be the leaves in the background or whatever stencil you anything. want, but it just works yeah. incredibly well, doesn't it? And then just a clean, simple stamped image. Love it, love it, love it. I think we should do a demonstration. I'm Shall feeling we? the urge. Amanda, over to you. <laughs> Don't forget, right. if you've got any questions, by the way, get them in studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. So you mentioned earlier that we've got new blending brushes. We do. This oh is gosh. our large ones. And then let so me grab it, another one. So the new ones that we've got in stock today are... We are calling them our mediums. Okay. Because we've got the small ones that come with the caps. And then we've got the little brother 
or sister so or whatever you want. Is that the medium there? So that's the medium. Okay, so this is the so brand new size the new that we've got for you today. You are going to get two of these. Two of those, yeah. And they come, I've got to say, your brushes are brilliant they because look, them. you want to protect it. Comes in a little case. How good is that? Look, even Adam, our director, who people, regular viewers will know that I always paint him as like a grumpy old man. There's a reason for that. He's a grumpy <laughs> old man. Uh, but uh, he just went, oh, that's good. That's oh, good. If you can make Adam smile, then the world is good. Definitely. Let's like said. It's true. <laughs> He's so yeah, they are lovely. I love uh, so two of those, seven ninety eight. That is phenomenal. Under four quid each. Um, they are beautifully packed as well. The bristles on these, super soft, and you can see. I'll get that's one of my used ones, so you might get a little bit of colour on your fingers. Oh, don't worry. Keith dropped a load of card on my fingers in the last <laughs> hour. So don't worry. There you go. You're getting attacked. They're already they? scuppered for the day, uh, but you're tightly packed. Love it. We've got Nadine coming in. We've got Linda Hayes or Julie's coming in. Brand new craft as well. Well done to you all. Fifteen percent of the stock is gone. I can smell a sellout in the air. I can mm. feel it approaching. So uh, right, Amanda. We are using our fireworks burst and so I've just gone in with some mustard seed now my mustard seeds are brand new color today so that it's very juicy color it is it's a juicy yellow uh, we'll give you a sort of shopping lift uh, shopping list after the demo of things but if you do want to notice on the side of the screen the details will change there you go that honey burst stencil honey burst that firework burst stencil uh, on its own six pounds honey burst would have been a good name for I know, it honestly i should ring you more often for but names yeah, please do <laughs> for, yeah, for names i would love to be one of those people that like named colors for inks oh would stuff. you i'll ring you happily because oh, it's one of the ever. hardest things is to name something. But for whoever me, came I up with that, what have you got there? Like carved pumpkin, I know. And shabby shutters, and rusty hinge. I mean, just fabulous names. <laughs> they're aren't awesome, they? fabulous. They are. Yeah. So as you say, we've got mustard seed and carved pumpkin on this one, and I've put it down on my magnetic board. My piece of paper under here is actually seven and a quarter inch, so I have actually, if you the eagle-eyed of you will notice, I've put kitchen paper under here. I was wondering why. Because. I didn't want to go over the edge and worry about it. Ah, okay. So because I don't want that line. No, no, I don't want that line to show. And I find that if I put paper underneath it, although it probably looks much nicer on TV, if I'd put a nice piece of smart, clean white paper under there, I think it's more relatable. You get more of an edge. Roll, yeah, right? everybody's got yeah. kitchen roll on there or kit tissue paper on their tables, and you, I find I'll get a, an edge where it's lifted slightly and things. So thought right we've got to find an op another option for this christine in lancashire <coughs> hello christine in lancashire has gone for two of the firework burst stencils i don't blame you that's the way to do it uh magali or magali in hertfordshire you are in as well beverly the cat's called beverly uh in <laughs> west midlands you are through as well and we've got gail in south yorkshire so that's that's the stencil done so that's simple gorgeous. and then we are now going to go in now this is a piece of watercolor card and i'm just going to pop that one out of the way so I am using watercolour card for this because I do want to um, colour it in with our watercolour pens and do some blending. So it takes a little bit. So this is using our fabulous flower stamp, which is, is available on its own or as part of the exclusive bundle. Now, a little tip that I've never thought about telling anybody before, but when I'm using something that I need to use the antistatic bag for, I always put it on my ink pad because then it means I've touched it and suddenly thought I've got to use that. That's a clever idea. And I, I never like thought about it until I was doing our workshops a couple of weeks ago and someone said to me, where's your antistatic bag there? And I was like, that's because. There you go. You will have started a trend now, I feel. Yeah, everybody <laughs> will have their antistatic <laughs> bags on their ink pads. So we're just going to stamp this out. I'm stamping it and I'm going to quickly colour. Um, but then I have already done it because I want to cut this out. It's a really easy stamp to cut out. Just if you go in too close up here, just be careful. It's going to have a slight weak point because it's a big bloom okay. on there. Um, if you are a honey doer, if you are somebody that loves Amanda's stuff already, if you've been one of her uh, many customers over the last 10 years and you've made something, do send us a picture in as well. We'd love to see what you made. Amanda and I are primarily quite nosy. We like yeah. to see what's going <laughs> on, don't we? Uh, so do send us a picture. You can attach it to your emails. And you never know, you might win a £100 credit to your account as well. We do that at Hobby Maker every month. Uh, the next one, because the winner was announced last week, uh, last night, sorry. Uh, well done to whoever that was. Uh, the next winner will be Saturday the 30th of November. It could be you just sending a picture of something you've made. But this hour, we'd like to see something honeydew. So we have done um, Versamark ink and some clear embossing powder on there. Now, I have a feeling these are still out of stock on your website, but they are coming back. So watch this space. They will be back, I promise. Lovely stuff. Now, it's watercolour card. It's quite heavyweight card stock. So 
it's going to take a few, a little bit longer to emboss. OK, well, I'll tell you what, whilst you're wood. doing that, then I'm going to remind everybody what they are getting in this collection. It's an exclusive bundle that we've got for you today here at Hobby Maker. Uh, you are getting the four brand new stencils and the four brand new stamps. They are available individually uh, and you can get them, you know, individually, but we recommend you go for the bundle because that's where you are getting the saving and the opportunity to use split pay as well. Uh, the starburst, we've got all the circular dots. That's dotty circle that we got for you there. Then there's leaves. Look at the detail on that leaves. That is just incredible. The the fire burst for you, that one on its own, 60% of the stock on its own has gone. And then the flourish as well, proving to be very popular. All of those are, were they 9 99 each, Kat, do I remember? Yeah, 6 50 each. Was it six, how affordable are you? I know. Uh, 6 50 each for 7 by 7 Oh, and the stamps were 9 99 each, weren't they? Let's look through the stamps. Uh, you have got your single peony. All the single peonies, single peonies. Uh, the vintage floral corner with birthday greeting and it's your special day. Uh, we've also got your floral swag, two of those for you there. Uh, and then you've also got the fabulous flower, which is the one that Amanda's working with perfectly at the moment. Uh, all of that is 59.99. Three ways to order. You can either order by the phone lines. It is a free phone telephone number here at Hobby Maker. 0800 001 433. And the call centre, where is it, Amanda? In the UK. It's just up there. It's literally above our studio right here uh, which is brilliant so you can do that you can also order if you want to via the app download the free hobby maker app from your google store your app store wherever you get your app fix or of course chris what's the website tell the world in your joyous tones it's all the w's what hobbymaker.com oh every day oh, check him out check him out well i often do uh, <laughs> check him out quite frankly he's so good uh, right yes yeah, so do use that website and you will find everything there so all I'm doing with this, if you do have these, these are the um, Kiritaki clean colour pens. So they work great on um, watercolour cardstock. And then I'm just taking the yellow well. and pulling that colour out. So, and it just really pops. I just have had so much fun playing with these. And do we? Do you sell the Kiritaki pens? I personally do. Yes. Oh, but we don't have them here at Hobby Maker. I'm not sure if they're on Hobby Maker or not. Oh, should we? Invest should we have a little look, Kat, if we've got them? The Kuritake pens, K-U-R-E-T-A-K-E. -E. There you go, Kuritake. Right, so as I said... Um, K-U-R-E-T-A-K-E. -E. It's a very famous pen brand. They are very, very good, aren't they, in the craft world? They are. They are lovely. So I've cut that out, and as I mentioned, when you cut it out, just be careful on this section here, this tiny, where the stem meets the bloom. That's the only bit. And so I've coloured that in, just as you've seen me do that, gone round and cut it out. It's really easy to cut out this one. Can I say with your colours there as well, I'm going to say there is one word for that, joyous. Thank you. It is joyous, <laughs> isn't it? It just makes you smile, it's euphoric, it's a burst of colour and brightness and vivacity. Love it. It certainly is. And I have just realised that I haven't got my glue out. Oh, hello. Bear with me one you, moment. You get your glue out <laughs> and I will remind people. Uh, please, please, please do check out to secure your purchase. Uh, we do have some Kuritaki pens on the website. There you go. Oh, we've got the Zig pen. The Zig pens are fabulous. Honestly, they're wonderful. I mean, I know, uh, go and have a look at them on there. They're all covered under your one day P&P because remember that literally here at Hobby Maker, no matter what you order, regardless of size, weight, quantity, the amount of orders in a day, it's one P&P for the entire day of 4 95 no matter where you live in the UK. So you could literally be in the Highlands of Scotland. You could be down in John O'Groats. You could be, no, it's not, it's John O'Groats. No, Land's End. Up in John O'Groats, down in Land's End <laughs> or anywhere in between. If you are in the UK, then it's 4 95 P&P for the entire day. That is so hard. just another little tip as well. If you're using foam pads, double-sided tape, the red liner tape particularly, it's once it's down, it's down. So I always pop a little bit of glue on there, which wiggle room. gives me a little bit of that wiggle room. Wiggle it just a little bit. Love it. So we're going to pop that on there. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it because literally well, you, you can't hear the gallery, can you? I could just hear I mean, her You can probably hear Kat through my earpiece, <laughs> yes, because she uh, does like to sing a lot. Could you sing it? Can you hear her singing Ooh, <laughs> just a little bit? I know. There you go. It's because it's there, so people can hear. Uh, but yes, Kat was just saying that card is so effective. And I do think, I mean, Adam, what word would you use to describe that card? I said that it's joyous. Kat said it's effective. What would Adam say? Love, lovely. Oh, he's. Oh, lovely. Oh, lo I know. <laughs> isn't he? <laughs> Lovely. So we're Is that what you say to your wife when he says to you, like, oh, Adam, do you like my new dress? He's like, it's lovely. Yeah, <laughs> no. I'm going to I'm gonna have to teach you, aren't I? 
I'm going to teach you some words, Adam. I really am. There you go. It's blooming marvellous. Well, no, it needs to be. Oh, it's gorgeous on you, my darling. It fits like a treat. All of that. No, it's all right. What time's dinner? There you go. <laughs> that is stunning. And that's Absolutely just on a black stunning. card stock. So, as I say, you stencil one stamp and you're done. See, a card like that, I think, easily. I mean, even if you're being conservative, that's a three, pl three pounds plus card if you were selling it. You are very happy as long as people are making things yep. as long as it's to hand sell stamp. things. Yes. Definitely. As long as it's hand stamped, then hand stamped, hand inked, and well, very handy to make some money. Um, <laughs> OVHN85 is your item code if you'd like to go for the bundle. Lots of people going for that. Patricia in Devon, you are in. Valerie in Berkshire, you are in as well. Well done. We often have sellouts with the fabulous honeydew, uh, so please get in earlier, sooner rather than later, because 25% of the stock has already gone. Get yourself ready for, for another one. demonstration, my lovely. Um, see the big bundle if you like thinking what well, one of the great things about Hobby Maker is we do have a great variety of different crafts we've got lots of crafts for you and um, everything from you know stamping through to your dyes through to your uh, mdf whatever you want we've got it all uh, flower making we've got the lot but what we also have i think is something for every pocket so sometimes there'll be a big bundle you might think well i like it but i can't really afford that uh, maybe you want an individual item or maybe you want some smaller bundles well honeydew have given us two smaller bundles within the large exclusive bundle uh, so we have got the stamp bundle to begin with so if you want to go for all four of the stamps so that would be the fabulous uh, floral uh, you also get in there as well the small peony you are going to get the swag and of course you do get the vintage floral corner as well um, all four of those 37.50 is your price on that one L VHN63 is your item code. You've got seven stamps in there, and some of them are whoppers. Some of them are real focal points, aren't they? 10% of that stock has gone already. Well done to our crafter in Siren Sester, who is in and out straight away. Congratulations. Nice. I like Siren Sester. I used to go caravanning in Siren Sester Park a lot when I was a kid. I did. I know. It's true. Yeah. Now, we used to be members of the Bailey Owners Caravan Club when I was a kid, and then the Sprite Owners Caravan Club. Oh, and like, every weekend, my mum and dad would take me and my sister Deborah away. We were like, do you have to go again? Yeah. Uh, the stencil bundle, if you'd like to go for that one, we have that too. I digress, didn't I? Uh, the stencil bundle, if you'd like to go for that one, £26 is your price on that one. You get all four of them. Oh, it's not. We're dropping it. Hurrah. Uh, you've got your dotty circle. We've got your leaves in there as well. You get that firework burst, which is my favourite now i think having seen that on the card uh, and then the flourish as well uh, if you want the fire burst on its own we are down to single figures literally very tiny single figures so you need to pop that into your basket and check out accordingly uh, all of those the four together though 23.50 is your price there janet and julie well done to you there you go uh, firework burst sold out on its own another oh, sellout for the lovely amanda <laughs> doesn't surprise me amanda <laughs> uses it and it disappears quite frankly she touches it, it disappears. If you touch me, I'll just disappear. Oh, I'm not. Uh, so don't, 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 <laughs> don't leave me. Uh, right, let's look. What are we going to do now? Oh, right. another question. Hang on. Oh. Christine in Lancashire. Sorry, is the leaf stencil coming up to buy on its own? Yes, it is. If you want it, I'll give you the details for you, Christine. Here you go. Uh, price on that is £6.50, which I think is phenomenal for a 7x7 seven seven inch. Uh, AEHN13 is your item code. Uh, also, Christine says, are, are, sten are brushes sorry, better for stenciling? I find them every every step of the way, the brushes, hands down, are the easiest thing that I've ever found to blend with. OK, so if you want to go... So, Christine, what I would recommend then is... That's the medium one, isn't that's it? That's the medium, yeah. So if you want to go for two of the brand new medium ones that do come in their own case as well, here they are. They look like this. This is so cool, these little cases, though. It's going to keep the bristles all bristly in, in the right direction, but also it's going to keep them nice and tidy. Uh, you don't want to... You know, there's nothing worse. We've all done it with toothbrushes, isn't there? You shove your, shove your toothbrush in, you like your toiletry bag when you go away. And if you don't have, like, a cap on the brush, when you take it out, it's all splayed, isn't it? <laughs> Nobody wants that. You don't want a splayed brush. That's no brush. good for your teeth. Or it's got hair in it. That's the worst oh, thing. Oh, no. Just spray <laughs> hair. Nobody wants that, do they? <laughs> Spray <laughs> hair in your mouth, no. Uh, 7 98 is your price on those if you'd like to go for the brushes. So pop those in your basket. If you want the large ones, we've got those as well. Uh, they a classic from the Honeydew range. Uh, if you want to go for those, two of those, 9 98 is your price on that. They look exactly the same, but they're just bigger. There you go. And they do come with the cases. They do. And you, come, exactly and you get so. two of those. You do. So we have got five different colours on here using these blending brushes. So we have got um, one lipstick, picked raspberry. See, gorgeous names again. Gorgeous. Oh, then we have fossilised amber. 
fossilised amber. Yeah. See, do you think, I mean, honestly, do you think they literally have hours and hours of meetings about these names? I think they must do, because I agree. They but do, do think, have some fabulous names. Do you think Tim sits at home thinking, like, you know, I don't know, looks out the window and thinks, like, oh, I know, Fallen Leaves, that would be a good name, <laughs> or, like, you know, I don't know, like this one, that would be like, ooh, Spicy Pumpkin Latte or something. I don't know, do you know? I mean, I would, but do you think it's actually teams of people that decide it? I would like to think they are. But I, would, I love the idea of something. Hey, we're going to go big on. Uh, we're going to go big on Rusty Hinge this season. Yeah, do you know? I'd... Salvage Patina was the one that always got me. Frayed burlap, I like as well. Oh, see, frayed burlap. <laughs> We've all That's got one, haven't we? <laughs> do you know what burlap is? Oh, Becky's going. What's burlap? It's it's American for Hessian. Hessian. What's Hessian? You know what Hessian is. Uh, Hessian is... Oh, I don't know, I like an old-fashioned potato bag would be made. Yeah, like, like, you know, you get tote bags, so like an old potato bag would be like Hessian. It's like that. Well, the American Brown. word for that is burlap. There you go. Everybody is a school day here at Hobby Maker. <laughs> so this is how e I definitely need to treat myself to a new peacock feathers. Well, I, I've got a website that you can go to <laughs> if you like. <laughs> Hobbymaker.com is the website if you want to go there. Um, do get your emails in as well. Keep those messages coming. We love to hear from you. The whole joy of us being interactive, uh, live and direct every day from 1pm through till 9pm at night is that you've got eight hours every day when you can get in touch and get those questions and those queries and those problems and those poses answered. And that's the great thing. And look how quick and easy using those brushes that, that went on. Mm. Now, I would normally say to you, go and have yourself a cup of tea. Oh, that's gorgeous. And let that dry off. Because we're going to stamp directly onto it. Because we're on live TV, we have got one I did earlier. So, we're just literally going to stamp onto this in a black ink. And that's your card done. So, black onto that is going to look sensational. It really pops. Uh, those blending brushes, by the way, we've got brand new crafter in Neath, Port Talbot. In fact, we're all new crafters coming in for this as well, which wow. is very exciting. Uh, so welcome to the channel. If you are new to Honeydoom, new to the channel, just new to life, it's like welcome to the wonderful world of Hobby Maker. Um, it's our pleasure to be here for you. Lots of great things coming your way. It scares me that I, although Hob Honeydew Crafts has been going for 10 years, I've been in the industry next year, 25 years. Oh, does that Half make, of my does life. feel a little old? <clears throat> Um, Half of my life I will have been there. Let's, let's ask who's the youngest <laughs> member of the crew today. I think it's, is it Becky or Kat? Who's younger? It's not Adam. Adam's the oldest member of the crew, bar me, obviously. But, you know, uh, Chris is 38, aren't you? 39. Oh. Adam's 43. It's not, I don't know how old he is, but he's 40-ish. How old are you, Becky? 27. 27. Kat, you're 28? Is Kat 28? 29, there you go. So Becky's the youngest, 27. So you've been oh. doing it, what, 23 years, you said? 25. There you go. So Becky was two. Oh. She was two. Oh, now that I really know. does make me feel old. She'd not <laughs> even discovered any of the bars at Birmingham at that age. She's <laughs> <laughs> making up for it now, are you, Becky? Well, you said it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are happy to, just go straight on and heat emboss that if you wanted to. But I'm going to just pop a sentiment on there as well at the same time. So this is from the same stamp set. So we're using our vintage floral corner. So, it's so that's your vintage floral corner. If you want to go for that one, uh, 9.99 price on your screen at the moment. And the details for that, UTHN58. And then we're just going to pop the sentiment on at the same time. Isn't it funny when you think about it then, how crafting has changed? Mind your head, my lovely. Isn't it funny when you think about how crafting has changed in 23 years? I know. When I look back at what I first started out with and what I do now... Well, if you think about prices as well, I mean, oh, it's I lovely, know. isn't it, that I think prices have, in general, for craft, come down. Because if you think about, like, uh, stencils back then, a seven... You've probably heard Kat, they go, don't get me started on the price of dyes. <laughs> like some passing fishwife there. It's like, oh, don't get me started. Uh, but the thing is, it's like, it, uh, stencils back then, I mean, for a seven by seven inch stencil, I think you would have been easily paying twice what you're paying today. Easily. And die cut machines didn't exist at all, no. did they? Would you, do you remember like when dies started and you could buy like an alphabet set of dies? And it was over and it was like literally 150 100, quid. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say 100 to 150 pounds. Well, it was just mad. And, it? and we paid it back then. Yeah. I don't know how. It's prestige to have it. I mean, now, thankfully, you know, you've got choices. And going back to what I said before about Hobby Maker, I think it's brilliant that we've got something for every pocket here. If you want to just spend a few quid on something, you can. If you want to spend hundreds of pounds on something, you can. You've always got those choices. And that's, you know, life is good when you've got choices, I that's think. That's what a Honeydew Craft has always been about. We're always about making sure that everybody that wants something can get something. We've worked mm. really hard 
to be able to do that. Now, people. can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. Always from underneath, from behind, I always when you heat are heat embossing? Nine times out of ten, I will heat from underneath, particularly if I'm using this ink, because um, Versafine Onyx Black and embossing powder are not particularly good friends. So I do tend to heat underneath, and if I'm colouring, I will always heat underneath, because sometimes the embossing powder will jump around. And wherever that embossing powder jumped around to on your image, it will stay whatever colours underneath the clear embossing powder. So if it jumped on there, it was pink, and I wanted it to be black, yeah. I can't colour over and that. And can I just because that card is so simple in its clarity and its beauty, the colours uh, with that black on the top, I mean, if we look, if there was any kind of, like, stray colour or if there was any kind of, like, stray bit that wasn't quite right, it would stand out like it a would. mile. I mean, that is fabulous. Uh, we've got Dorothy in Essex's message in. Hi, are you using a special ink pad in black? Then heat embossing, please. No, I am literally using Versafine. Versafine. Black. Now, for people that don't know, I mean, when we say, like, Versafine, because we have Versafine and Versaclair and all sorts of stuff, Versafine is for what? Um, if you read the back, it would tell you it's for water colouring. OK. Um, and There's you a can coming use here, isn't water colouring. So many people don't think that you can't use a regular ink for embossing powder. Try it. It works on some papers, it might not work so on other papers. So is that kind of specialist for watercolour, but you've discovered other uses? Yeah. Love it. I, this is my go-to ink for everything, because it is complete. It always gives you a really crisp image, and it's always reliable. I know that when I stamp with that, I am going to get the image I want to get. There you go. Versifying gives you mighty fine results. That's what we're saying there. Uh, if you search on the website and see if we've got any on stock on that website, hobbymaker.com. I'm all uh, about the top tips here quickly. If well, I can just interrupt um, you. Just say Kevin yeah. in West Yorkshire was messaging. Hi, please can you advise what colour ink pads you are using? Oh, now, uh, Amanda has said, but let's take us through the colours so and see you've used. we've got worn lipstick. OK, so worn lipstick was that one there. Love it. Picked raspberry, they haven't all got the labels. Picked raspberry is that one there. Then we have fossilised amber. That's a gorgeous colour. So fossilised amber. Cracked pistachio. Cracked pistachio. And peacock feathers. And then peacock feathers. And are they oxides? Are they? They're distress oxides, yeah. Okay, so they're all distress oxides. So there you go, Kevin. Hopefully that'll help you again. They are all on the website. Loving these questions, which is brilliant. I Message do from too. Katie as well. Um, hello, Nigel Clue. Just joined Hobby Maker. Welcome. Uh, looking forward to seeing what is coming up on the shows from Katie from Bristol. Well, if you check out, if you, get, if you download the free app, if you download the free Adam. I know you can hate me for saying this, but I know on some shows there's a QR code that comes up that takes us through to the app. Do you have the availability to have that? That's what I'm going to say. This is where he leaves the building. I don't know. Can you find Dan Sketchley? Uh, basically, uh, we, there's um, apps that you can go to. I mean, there's the Hobby Maker app. You don't need a QR code to go through it. It's just going to look in your app store. If you look for the Hobby Maker app, that's free to download. You can get it from your Google Store, your app store, wherever you get your pod fix, but, uh, your app fix, sorry. Uh, and then if you go there, you will see the schedule coming up for the next few days. You will see uh, what's there. You can see it on the website as well, to be honest. But if you want to find out when you're on the move, wherever you are, go for the app as well. So basically, the app or website, there you go, you can see it. Oh, look, there's you and me. And there's Nat coming up in a moment before she had her hair cut off, but it's, it's long again now. Hey, Nat, she's in the building. <laughs> uh, Keith's up later. You can see what's coming up. You can see what's coming up tomorrow and things like that. I can have a look see what I'm doing, which is always handy. Uh, you can see loads of stuff coming through. Uh, right, and also if you want to uh, know about, you know, anything that's on there, go and check it all out, either on the website or via the app. There you go. Uh, right, on our bundle, 40% of the stock has now gone. Uh, so, this is gorgeous. So I'm going to give you a little top tip here. If you have in a hurry to put this card together, you'll notice that when you've heat embossed it, you've got a little bit of a wiggle on your card. OK. So if you leave that for a little while, if you can overnight ideally, it will settle back down. Don't ask me the science on it, but I can then stick that down completely flat. If I'm in a hurry, I would, because that's got that little crinkle on it, and I tried to fl if I tried to flatten that down, that wouldn't go completely flat mm -hmm. at this moment, I would always put that onto foam pads. Okay. Because it gives it time to rest itself. So I'm gonna go back with the one that I did. So because you let that prep, rest, it kind of settled it, out. Yeah. OK, I get that. It flattened itself out again. I get that. I don't know what the science is behind that. I but have it's, no idea. But I like but it. But lots and lots of attempts at it. It's kind of like crafting voodoo, but I like it. it. Let's go for it. There you go. Uh, busy, 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 busy. If you want to go for the glue as well that Amanda's using, obviously do check out the items on this show, but also the fabulous Honeydew Crafts brand shop on our website as well. Uh, the glue is always useful. In fact, let's give you the glue now. 9 99 is your price if you want to go for the sticky glue. Um, does it stick anything? 
It pretty much does. I've had one of my customers see me at a show and she said on her way home from work that night, her wing, the night before her wing mirror had fallen off her car, <laughs> she had her craft bag in the back and she used our glue to hold it on to get her home. I've never known anybody do that. There before. you go. It's strong I've stuck enough somebody's to hold shoe back together at a show with it. Wow. <laughs> it's strong enough to hold a snapped old wing mirror. There you go. Uh, thank you very much. If you want to go for that glue, 9 dollars is your price. S-U-H-N-0-8 is your item code on that one. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I see yours in use. Much there nicer you one. <laughs> uh, right, also, you know the anti-static pad? Here we go, look. If you want this as well, you saw Amanda using this earlier. I like the fact that it's actually decorative as well, because sometimes these bags are just, well, they're functional, but they don't look particularly nice. This, $3.99, if you're doing a little Christmas crafty hamper for somebody, or you just want to get a little gift for yourself, or a little sort of, um, you know, bottom drawer item for like friends, Definitely. loved ones, crafty friends come their birthdays and Stocking stuff. Stocking fillers for... Yeah. Absolutely. Three ninety nine for your anti-static bag and it's got little hearts on it as well. And again, ours are coloured because how many times do you go looking for something on your craft desk and it's there but you can't find it? Good point, well made. <laughs> can't see the wood for the trees. Uh, if you want to go for that one, RTHN06. Size-wise, that's two inches by three and a half inches. Go for that. Lovely. Right, Amanda, what's next? Right, we are going to go in with some leaves. I'm just going to quickly get these ones out of the way. So we're going to use some of these stencils again. Yeah, we're going to use our leaf stencil. stencil. Uh, available on its own, but obviously Obviously, I know the stock was dwindling on that one. Um, also part of that exclusive bundle where you get all four of the stencils and then all four of the stamp sets as well. Look, you're going to see all my little bits of prep that I've got going here. It's like being in your craft room. Well, Amanda's got, got loads of demos planned today and more hints and tips. She's going to be back at 6 o'clock tonight as well. Basically, it's Keith from Paper Dynamics, Nat from Monkey Dory, and, of course, the lovely Amanda from Honeydew Crafts taking you right the way through until 9 o'clock tonight. I will be here till 5. Um, and then Rose... No, not Rosie. Hayley, sorry. I beg your pardon. Hayley West is going to be here uh, from 5 o'clock taking you through until 9 o'clock tonight. Now, as I've mentioned, this is quite a delicate stencil, so be cautious with it. Um, it is a delicate stencil, but it is well worth being a little bit more careful with it. So we're just going to pop this down. And I'm going to get, we're using um, peeled paint this time. And our um, medium blending brushes. We're just going to pick up some of that paint and it's got a little bit too much on there. So these blending brushes are fabulous they really are and they are. are so easy i mean there's no pressure on there now when i say they're a little bit uh, delicate there's parts of them that will move yeah so we're crafters hold it where you want it to be if you okay. wanted it to move over move it over i mean you could if you wanted to put some low tack tape on it as well you but could but i don't think you would really need no i agree to. from seeing how you do it there that seems a little bit more efficient yes certainly is. Uh, these blending this. brushes are brand new today, remember? They are the first, it's the first time we've had the medium ones, isn't it? It is. Uh, so if you would like to go for these, so we've had the small ones and we've got the large ones, now we've got mm -hmm. the medium. You get two of them in the little um, carry cases. Look, I think that's fab. Even, even if you didn't get the carry cases, I'd love them, but I love the fact that you do get the extra carry cases because yeah, it, it just them. makes it so much more, I don't know, I'm a big one for storage. I am too. I do, I love I a I think all crafters like are. <laughs> I think we all are. There's three different ho hobbies. There's sorting, which includes the storage, and then there's crafting, and there's shopping for crafting. But all a, three are dealt with don't today. You think there's nothing more satisfying sometimes than, you know, I've got like a study at home where I do my like, radio stuff and podcast bits and pieces, and it's like occasionally I have to just go in there and get some boxes or tins or something, just put things away. Mm -hmm. Just, I mean, it's, I forget what... I forget where I've put them in there, but it's like... I, I know, just when love, you tidy up, you always it forget where they are. So, as I said, just spend a little bit of time making sure that everything is held down as you're going over it. There's no pressure on this. Look, I mean, I really am not putting any amount of pressure on there to get this colour on here. And it's such a simple card. Again, great card for men because they are so difficult to make cards Tell for. me about <laughs> it. I've tried to make a card for Adam on many an occasion, and do you know what? I gave up. Don't blame you. But there's no point. You need There'll this stencil no in your life. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what colour are you using, by the way? This is peeled paint. Peeled paint. Look at that. I mean, who would have come up with peeled paint for that, for a green? But somebody did. There's your peeled paint there, if you would and like to go for it. And here's the reveal. Love that. Oh. I just love it. How gorgeous. And there is really nothing else that you need to do to this. I'm just going to take my 
blending brush again. I'm not going to add any more ink on there. I'm just going to lightly go around the edge. This is how quick and easy this is to do, look. And there's no pressure. Just put, putting that colour on there. And this is just to go underneath. So I've got a, this is, if I've held, if I've marked any card or anything, I've never been it because it's always going to be a layer for something. Oh, absolutely. There's no point wasting cardstock. We can always camouflage it and 100%. cover it up with something, can't we? But you can usually guarantee with me that I'll stick my finger in it or do something <laughs> like that. So, <laughs> so we're just going to add the layers to this. Now the glue is out again as well. So was um, sort of crafting in your family then? Or? Um, my mum did a little bit of crafting. I started off years. What made you start? If it's not um, too I was personal signed. Question. I was working for the Ministry of Defence and I was signed off sick. Okay. And, um, my mum had just started making cards, so I decided I couldn't watch daytime TV any longer. So I sat in there with her and started making some cards, and then I took them into work, and I had a hundred in my box, and I came back with two. Wow! That's and I so thought, oh, I quite like today. this. So um, yeah, that's how it all started. Thank oh, you, the wow. Ministry of Defence, for stressing me out. Uh, <laughs> here you go. Thanks, Ministry of Defence. We are <laughs> loving that. Uh, we've got a great a, a message coming through. Hi, Nigel and Amanda. Fantastic bundle. It looks so simple. Maybe a silly question. There's never a silly question. No. Uh, what's the best way to clean the brushes off to go to a new colour? To go to a new colour, you saw me a minute ago. I've literally a piece of kitchen paper. I do tend to work with families to start with. So all my greens, all my pinks, okay. all my... There's certain colours that have their own. Um, lumberjack plaid, if you have that, has its own brush. A lumberjack pad? Yeah, lumberjack plaid. Which oh, plaid. Is red. Sorry, sorry. And um, mustard seed definitely have their own brushes because once the colours in those, they're there to stay. But literally, that's all I would do, and just do that until it comes almost clear, and we're done. And then every so often, I wash them out with warm soapy water or shampoo. Lovely stuff. There you and go. And leave them to air dry. That's the important thing. If you wet them, leave them to air dry. Yes, don't try and like, hurry it up. No. Uh, thank you, Paul, for your question. Not a silly question at all. Another question coming through. This is from Sandra in Norfolk. Um, hi, Nigel and Amanda. When using the stencil to emboss, what GSM card would you use? Thanks from Sandra. Um, it depends on your machine and your stencil. Most of the time, I would use 250. Okay. But if you wanted to get a really heavy deep imprint than 300 I wouldn't go much higher than that though. Okay there you go obviously it depends on your machine as well but I mean the great thing about these stencils is if you can uh, put them through you know you, if you want to put them through your Cricut if you want to put them through your, you know whatever embossing and die cutting machine you can do it's and entirely every up to mach you. every machine even if it's the same brand even if it's a all the same big shots, every machine will be slightly different. Absolutely. Um, this looks so good. So simple. That was demo number three. That was demo number three. Do you want to do demo number four? Should we go for it? Get yourself ready. <laughs> let's do it. This is brilliant. In fact, before we do that, let's just show the three cards that you made so far because they're all beautifully different. Thank and you. that's what I love about this. So, look, you can see. I might need to borrow a hand here, Amanda. Okay. There you go. Look, so three really different cards, and that's what I love. Uh, so that's using the stencil and the stamp, so just one of each, and then the extra sort of stamp sentiment at the end. That one in the centre, your heat embossing, which is beautiful, and then you're blending. And then that one there, just using the stencil with one of the stamp sentiments as well. Really eclectic. That's the fabulous thing. Right, Amanda, get yourself ready for demo number four. Uh, and let's remind you what we have got. Just to show you as well, I just want to go back to one of the cards that we showed you earlier. Look how versatile you can be with this. This card that we showed earlier, and I just think is absolutely fabulous, because look, you've got that wealth of one colour. Kind of matches my jumper, which I'm loving as well. Uh, you can see you've got that fabulous design at the top there, which is one of the swags. It is. The stamp swags. Uh, and then just literally a little bit of decoration at the BM, down at the bottom there. It's just absolutely glorious. The fact that it's so simple, it is brilliant in its simplicity and brilliant in its, and simple in its brilliance, if you know what I mean. Uh, the OVH, does that make sense? Simply brilliant, brilliantly simple. There you go. Anyway, you're loving it. 55% of your stock is gone. Confused myself with my own words there. <laughs> uh, right, OVHN85, let's remind you what you are getting here. Uh, you are getting an exclusive bundle, four stencils, and four stamps for you in there as well. All of the stencils are fabulous seven by seven inch stamp uh, stencils. You have got the dotty circle, the firework burst, the leaves and the flourish. So these are the stencils that you've got. You can see the detail that you have is incredible. I mean, even though, um, you know, you can be quite simplistic with the design. I mean, there's a lot of detail in there, Amanda. There is there? a lot of detail, yeah. Um, this afternoon will be, or this evening, should I say, it's our six o'clock show. There's one stamp stencil that I'm gonna use which is I'm going to use now as well. 
Um, and literally, I've used a stencil and three colours of ink. And that's a it. bit like I've just done, but it looks completely different to how we're using it so now. So that's going to be in the six o'clock show. That's in the six o'clock. Um, also, it's not uniform, is it? If you rotate it, you would no, get a different design. You would, 100%. Uh, you've also got your four stamps in there as well. You've got your vintage, you've got your peely in there, you've got your floral swag, and you've also got your fabulous, fl uh, fla fabulous flower there as well. Uh, so if you want to go for any of those, you can either go for the stamps individually, you can go for the stamps as a set of four, or you can go for the stamps with the stencils in our big exclusive bundle. You only get that here at Hobby Maker. Uh, if you want to go for the big exclusive bundle, then it's 59.99 is your price, but we do have split pay. Um, we don't charge you for split pay and we don't charge any interest on split pay. So literally all you will pay is half the price of whatever it is. So 29.99 here today. Um, and then your PMP of 4.95 for the entire day. If you do have any questions about anything, then our call centre, who are just upstairs, are there ready to take your call. It is a free phone telephone number here in the UK. So even if you're on the phone lines for a couple of minutes before they answer, you are not paying for that phone call. So we're not taking any pennies off you there. It's 0800 001 4433. But... I tell you what time it is now. It's time for a demo. Can you believe? I don't know how this hour's flown by. So we it are. It's gone on, quick. It has. It's gone very quick. But luckily, you are back at six o'clock tonight. We are. So we we're on faded jeans with our circle dotty stencil, or Lovely. dotty circle stencil, should I say? Another good colour, faded jeans. It is. It's my favourite colour at the moment. I keep going to it. And I've what got was to the lipstick one? Is it worn lipstick? Worn lipstick. So that's going to get worn lipstick. Shabby shutters. Now, okay. although I've added colour on here, I have gone on really, really lightly. I've just thought of my favourite colour, <gasps> of my favourite colour name, Kitsch Flamingo, isn't oh, it? Oh, yes. Kitsch And Flamingo. my favourite colour. <laughs> That's so good, that name, honestly. So, we literally added a really light coverage, and hopefully that will show through. Oh, there gorgeous. we go. And it is a really light coverage. I haven't gone really heavy-handed because I'm going to stamp over the top of that. It's like a speckled egg. That's a colour too. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is a colour, isn't it? So again, we're just going to go in with our single peony this time. Um, lots of you going for the bundle now. Well done to Craft It in Angus coming through. We've got Fiona in County Durham. Hello. Uh, Virginia in Hampshire and Janet in Hertfordshire. You've all got it in your basket. You need to check out. How are we doing stockwise, Kat, did we say? Over half the stock has gone now. You can carry on ordering after the show, but I don't think there'll be any left later. I am going to say that. Right. Now I've just managed to put ink all over my fingers, so we'll put that back on there. So we're going to stamp our single peony off to one side. Apparently, Kat, our producer, say that there's a brand of paint that do a colour called Elephant's Breath. My that, goodness. Um, how do you know what colour Elephant's Breath is? I mean, <laughs> see, I think Elephant's Breath would be, what do elephants eat? What do they actually eat? Don't know. Do you know, that's what, do you Foliage, know, I 56 suppose. years of age, I have no idea what elephants eat. Bananas. Do they? Well, they do, don't they? <laughs> yeah, they do. And do they eat grass? Are they, they, they're they, a, they, they herbivores, I suppose they are, aren't they? So I imagine their breath would smell quite like What's a field. It would be green, <laughs> I feel. What colour is the elephant's breath? What colour is the paint that's elephant's breath? I can't show you at home, but they're going to show it me in the studio. Oh, it's kind of like a greeny grey, isn't it? Greeny grey. That's kind of the. It's kind of elephant colour, really. There you go. <laughs> isn't it weird. It's like there's a flower, isn't there? Like Gypsophila is called baby's breath. Yeah. Which again, I think is like what would baby's breath smell like. I have no clue. Oh, I didn't want to go there, but it's no. not going to be. You know. It's not going to be pleasant. I wouldn't have thought. <laughs> <laughs> right. Again, I'm just going to pop a sentiment on here. Apparently, there's also a colour in this same paint range called dead salmon. Nice. That's not selling it to me. I've just seen it. That's not selling it to me. Uh, dead salmon. Can you imagine? Can you imagine when people come round to your house, like, oh, I love you. Oh, yeah, that's dead salmon. Yeah, it's, <laughs> no, that's just odd, isn't it? So I'd rather again, say it's like frayed burlap or something. Yeah. <laughs> so, again, I've popped in the sentiment before I've heat embossed it so we can do it all together. So that is literally single peony, a sentiment, and that fabulous dotty circle stencil. It's so easy, but, yeah, so effective. And we will heat emboss that from underneath again because I am going to colour this. Now, I do think people sometimes, especially like newbies to the world of embossing or heat embossing, do get a little bit worried. Uh, what are your tips for good heat embossing? Take your time. Don't wave it around like you're blow drying your hair like we all started off doing. You are literally, you're going to heat it and as that melts, you're almost, you want the powder to almost, as it melts, to be chasing you. So you move your heat gun and it will melt with you. Because basically, 
um, embossing powder is tiny, tiny particles of plastic that you're melting, which is why you don't want to sit your finger in it when you first melt it, because it's hot. See, I love that. That, for me, you've just you've made a clarification there for heat embossing. It will be chasing you. Yes. So that's good, because I would be thinking, like, oh, I've got to keep on that, because I'd be worried no. about burning it and making it. You can it burn it, and if you do burn it, particularly with a sparkly one, you'll lose, it'll go really dull and you'll lose the, the sparkle yeah, luster, yeah. that's in it. Um, and with the clear one, again, it will go dull. But with the glitter embossing powders, you basically you've burnt the glitter away so that you'll have no colour to that okay. at all. So that's that one done. And by heating underneath, you can see just how completely smooth that will heat. And does it dry time. pretty much instantaneously? Pretty much, but again, it can be quite warm. So be careful. So I'm not going to blend this. This is just plain, normal cardstock. With these pens, you do need to be quite quick when you're colouring on normal colour cardstock. Why is that? Don't go back over the same spot because then these are watercolour pens. They work great with on watercolour cardstock. They work great on cardstock, but if you go over, you're going to start to um, rip your card. So I work quickly and I go in every nook and cranny. And the beauty about having embossed it means that it helps you stay in the lines as well. So if you're not great at it, uh, now, I've got a couple of stock updates for you and a couple of warnings as well. I am going to say, if you do want to go for the big bundle, 85% of the stock has gone. So nearly, we're nearly looking at limited stock. I'm a bit worried about the late show. Are you doing this on the late show? I am. That could be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to you and Hayley is all I will say. Uh, but yeah, 85% of that stock has gone. Also, the stencil bundle, 80% of that has gone. Now, we can't restock that stencil bundle because of the firework burst one has sold out individually. So we can't sort of like move stock around, which sometimes we do if there's a demand for like more of one thing and less of another, as it were. Uh, so we can move stock around, but on this particular item, we can't. So that firework burst, um, that fire burst, uh, the, hello, put your teeth in, Nigel. Firework burst stencil, uh, that has already sold out on its own. So we will not be able to do any more of the bundles when the stencil bundle sells out. So that's it. That's gorgeous. Here's one I made earlier. Absolutely Again, same beautiful. thing. If I was going to have to use that one, because where I've heat embossed it, it's, it's got down. the curl in it. There you go. You've oh, I see you just showing the curl. Yeah. So I You've beg your pardon. You've got a your kink pardon. in your, yeah. your, your, your yeah. paper. There you go. So we were sorry, Adam. It was from above. above. That was my fault. Sorry. There you go. So showing the curve. So you can see that it's got a kink in it. But if I leave that, or even if I just went and had a cup of tea, that would come back and it would have, re have relaxed a lot. It's almost like you put the paper into shock. So it would flatten out. It would flatten out. Flat so line. now that's a flattened out one, um, which would be it. perfect to go through. Right. The let's line these up because, I mean, they are just too cool for school. Uh, thank you for all your messages. Oh, there's more coming through. Uh, Lorna in Oxford just says, well, every day is a school day, they say. I didn't realise you could use embossing powders on ink stamps. You can use it on any stamp. Pigment inks are the best to use it on because they stay wet for longer. Fast drying ones, the only one I would avoid is probably the Memento inks so far that I've ever played okay. with because they dry a little bit too quick. Um, a bit like I wouldn't try blending with Memento inks either. Um, but everything else... Give it a go. There you go, Lorna. And also, Lorna, I love your follow-up message. Oops, I meant to say thanks. Yes, because you put <laughs> tham, which I understood as thanks. There you go. If somebody says tham to me, I'm quite happy. But there you go. I meant to say thanks. Thanks, Lorna. Um, these cards, all made from the same bundle. Um, it shows the variety that you've got, even though some of the designs are simplistic. And I mean mm -hmm. that in a very, yep. you know, that's a, 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 com a compliment. Um, there's such variety of what you can do with them. The thing is, if you make something too complicated, it is too complicated. Mm -hmm. And if you can go in with something simple and you can add to it and make it to the ability that you are happy to work to. I could come on here and do everything all frilly and fancy and really hard to work, but nobody else is going to go home and achieve it. It looks like it's completely unachievable. Everything I've done there today is completely achievable by everybody. But this is true, isn't it? These are like individual ingredients that you can actually make a million different recipes from. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the great thing about these. I mean, if you wanted to use, say, that single flower on its own, then you could do, I mean, literally just it on its own is strong enough, that fabulous flower. Yeah. But if you wanted to add it with something else, if you wanted to add it to a stencil in the background, if you wanted to, I don't know, decoupage with it or whatever, it's up to you. You've got a springboard for your creativity with the simplicity of the actual bundle itself. It, exactly. And everything that we've got on Honeydew Craft here today is all made in the UK as well. Uh, just to remind people as well, if they want to follow you online because I know you do yep. Facebook Lives and all that kind of we stuff. We do Facebook Where Lives. Where do we go? Honeydew Crafts on Facebook, YouTube, um, Instagram and X. 
and then we also do workshops up and down the country and all sorts of things. So you can you find on. out about those through They're on, on our website, website yeah. So or ping me an email or whatever, or Facebook message, whatever you need to do. We've got some fab ones. We've gone finally back down to Portsmouth, ladies. So all of you that were begging me to come back down to Portsmouth, we're back down there. Um, March, April time, March next year. We're in Wigan, we're in Newcastle, um, and we're in Suffolk. Oh, it's like she's like Taylor Swift. She's touring around the country, <laughs> and she go out And we're nearly in Scotland. We're so nearly there. You'll make it. Uh, <laughs> Vanessa in Derbyshire says, what weight card do you use, please? This bundle is fab. Most of these were done on 250. So it's a nice weight of card, yeah. isn't it? Um, Amanda, can I say that? Oh, another message before we go. They are coming through thick and fast. This is brilliant. Uh, Virginia in Hampshire says, thank you for a great demonstration. I've been tempted to buy the set. Oh, thank you. Temptation too. is always good, but if, <laughs> I always say, if you've got an itch, then you've got to scratch, scratch it. it. Uh, <laughs> do be quick, though, because the stencil bundle has now sold out. We cannot restock that because we don't have any of the individual fibre stencil for you. Uh, but we do have the large bundle. But stock-wise on that, we're looking at what cap? Yeah, about 95% gone. It's going to sell out. Good luck with your six clock show. That is all I'm <laughs> going to say. Uh, we do have the stamp bundle available. Some of the individuals as well. If you want to find it all, head to the website. Becky, what is it? All the W's what? Hobbymaker.com. If you go to watch live, you scroll down, coming up on today's show, you'll see all of the fabulous items there. You can check everything out, uh, even the ones that have sold out and gone. Oh, I just think I've lost talk back with the guys in the gallery, but I'm assuming they're telling me to wrap up because I've got a show with the lovely Nat coming up after the break. So 